Hi folks, welcome to Fruitful Ever After, episode number five. Today's real special, we have a guest speaker on. She's so excited to join us today. Brian, would you like to introduce her? The one, the only, my youngest, Naomi. Welcome. We are so excited to have you. From the beginning, you've always asked your dad and I if you could contribute to the podcast. Well, here's an episode dedicated to you. Would you like to start by telling the listeners a little about yourself? Well, I'm I'm 12 years old and I'm in sixth grade and I've been going to St. Mark for most of my life. Well, except for third grade due to COVID, but yeah. Awesome. And may I add, she's a fantastic older sister. Now that she's got three younger step siblings, she does so well with them all. I'm not sure if you know this. I'll share this with you and for the listeners too. That in episode number two, Naomi was part of the story. Brian shared that she indeed is a walking miracle. She was born with a lot of health complications with her heart and other things. So we are so grateful for all the surgeons and medical staff and mom and dad for taking care of her. Naomi, you're such a blessing to so many people. Speaking of hearts, what's on your heart today, Naomi? Um, well, telling people that you should be focused on your spiritual, physical, and mental health. You have certain roles in life and you're de- you have to be dedicated to that and yeah i can tell you're really passionate (laughs) about that so thank you for bringing that up what Mm -hmm. a great topic to talk about we'll entitle this episode five as excitement in your role ready hi folks and welcome to the fruitful ever after podcast with brian and shannon newlyweds but not new to marriage we are exposing our journey to living fruitful ever after and why it matters to you we both know the pains of divorce and come together with wisdom and embrace our second chance of doing life and relationship God's way. We are a husband and wife duo on a mission to serve the Lord. In these episodes, you'll hear stories, receive life skills, perspective, and biblical commentary to enhance your personal and relational growth. Whether you are single or dating, married or divorced, forget your happily ever after and join us on this journey to find wholeness and fulfillment. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our show. show. So when we talk about roles in life, we know that they change and mold and morph over time. Think about children. We were all children once, and that's why I'm super excited we have Naomi as a part of our our podcast today as our guest speaker, because as a 12-year-old, she's got a lot of experience fresh in the field, right? Well, what I love about you, Naomi, is you come with a spirit of of playfulness, and us grown-ups need that reminder. Remain playful, curious, kind. Life is meant to be experienced. It's not a problem to be solved. So when we were first starting to get the mics warmed up and introduce Naomi to the use of these mics, we were just goofing around with them, and I don't think they knew it was recording. I'd love to share that little clip with you. A little sound bite should be fun and lighthearted. Brian, I love you, and this is all kind-spirited fun. Fire the what? Come on, really? I don't know that song. You don't know In Sync? <gasps> so, so Shannon is a huge Backstreet Boys fan, and I'm a big In Sync fan. Oh, we are recording right now. Wait, what? I deny. I plead the fifth on that. I love Justin Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, t- Justin Timberlake is weird. Why is he weird? I don't know who he is. He's not weird. He's an icon. Sure. He sounds weird, though. And he's really cute. Seriously? He's awesome. I, I look up to him. Thor's my, <laughs> Thor's my idol, though. Do you got, like, celebrity boy crushes or something? Just on Chris Hemsworth plays Thor. Because he's funny and witty. And he's strong. Sure. Just like you, Brian. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, you think so, too? Maybe. (laughs) You love your dad. Yeah. So with the things that you listed off, Naomi, about staying strong in spirit, mind, and body, 
What's one of the things that helps helps keep you strong in spirit? Well, God, mostly. The Bible, my school, because uh, I go to Christian school, so like every day we either have faith foundations, or, well, catechism or faith foundations, or Christ's light, and we go right from Genesis almost to the end of the Bible, um, uh, but we always make sure to do chapel on Wednesdays and always make sure we're leading a God-pleasing life and stuff. So can I ask you a question? Yeah. So far up to this point, what is your favorite book in the Bible? Hmm. Honestly, I'd have to say Genesis. What do you like so much about it? Well, it talks about how, like, our whole world was created, the galaxies, the stars, basically everything. One of the movies I'll reference is is Genesis history. And they talk about the different layers of strata uh, that make up the Grand Canyon and how it's not just uh, improbable, but impossible for that to have been carved out by the Colorado River. But instead, the only way that the strata could be laid in such uniformity, layer by layer by layer, was from a very catastrophic event that could have only happened via the flood. So... That's one thing that I'll add to that. But thank you for your thank you for your input and uh, your dialogue. That was great. Yeah, thank you so much. Switching gears just a little bit, I hear that in school something special is happening soon. Can you share with us what that is all about? Oh yeah, so there's gonna be a school play for. The fifth through eighth graders, and I am going to be a part of it. We are so proud of you to get a role. Thanks. <laughs> I, I feel cool using one of these, but I feel like I'm going to be feel even cooler when it's time for the play. Um, cause like, you know how the pastors at our church have those little yellow, like microphone things. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> Like, last year when Sophia did the play, she got to use one of those. So, like, I think I'll be, we'll be able to use those, too. So, yeah. I'm excited for I'm, that. I am glad that you're getting practice with some microphones now. But, yeah, you're right. You're going to get some cool equipment. I wonder what, like, I'm going to wear, though. I'm sure they'll have costumes. Do they have costumes for you guys? I think they're going to make them. But, like, there's costume makers and, like, directors and stuff. And, like... Sounds like a pretty big production. Yeah. Well, and there's, like, light helper, like, people who help out with light and technology and all that other things. The play is called Murder on 518. Um, it, it said it was family-friendly, so, like... I've already watched the play, <laughs> but I mean, it's not like graphic stabbing or like anything like that. It's just poisoning, but I'm going to be a sous chef when we were getting, like, I'm a minor role, but when we were getting called out, there's a girl in seventh grade, her name's Kendall, and she is blonde and she has glasses. We were sitting next to each other. I didn't know who to sit next to. So I just sat down next to her and we we were both super excited. I was like the what third person to get called for it. Um and then it was her and she like got super red and she was like and I asked her if she's happy and she was like, Yeah, and they started calling roles and she <clears throat> so uh, weird weird enough, we got we auditioned for the same roles. Um, but she got the role I wanted, but I wasn't, like, mad or anything else. I'm just glad I got in it. But, um, she, like, got super happy to the point she started crying. Mm. So, like, I held out my hand and she, like, grabbed it. And we were, like, like, I don't know what to say. But, like, 
I don't shaking know. Shaking hands? Yeah, shaking hands, but we were like holding, holding them. hands yeah. like really tightly. <laughs> That's yeah. an excitement. Yeah, that is something that humans share. Like you're sharing in each other's excitement. So yeah. Cool. Yeah, and like, um, like I, I'm actually glad I didn't get a major role because majors have like 35 to 50 lines. But me, I only have like what, three lines? So yeah, and the good thing is, is that I got, so there, I'm sous chef one, my friends, um, like, there's two sous chefs, I'm sous chef one, and my friend's actually is sous chef two, her name's Hadley, um, I've, I've had a, her over, I don't know if you've met her, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. she's oh, a sweet yeah. girl. Mm-hmm, uh, er, yeah, she, she, she's not the one with glasses, the ones with, the one with glasses, I, is Kaylee, but yeah, um, like, (laughs) I don't know, that was, that was a big day, I was just super glad that day, like, I was just feeling tired at the start of the day, and when it became time to announce it, I just, like, sparked up with joy after that. I can imagine, I wish I was there to see that, can you imagine that, Brian, would you have liked to seen that day? So, the night that I picked her up, she was sitting in the passenger front seat. She said, so, pause, dramatic pause. <laughs> they announced who's going to be in the play. Okay, well, what did they say? And she just kind of gave me one of these glances like, I got the role. <laughs> and she was so excited for it. <laughs> I, try, I tried to act like super sad like just to like check you and stuff but yeah it, that is so special we look forward to seeing your performance and for you to hold such joy in your heart about earning something so important that just is contagious we are like absorbing that <sighs> we're excited for you <laughs> i mean like the <laughs> the like practices they they go after school i think they go to like six but i mean it's not that late for like a play i mean it's not that bad but um then basically like we like it'll be i think march probably um and then the actual like play is April sixth, and I think I'm with my mom that week or that day. Yeah, the play is on April sixth. Okay, mm-hmm. mark it down. That's all right. That means I'm free, and that means that your step siblings will be able to join and watch you. <laughs> okay. Is that okay if they all come? Yeah, cool. Naomi's got a part in a play, but if we think about life, we're individuals, proud to be who you are, and we have a role to play. Yeah, like, um, like how you have a role in a play is just like how you have a certain role in life given to you by God. Like, in a play, you're given a certain role that you have to play and you have to do, but, well, in our normal daily lives... We are given a certain role from God, and, like, we have to play that role until the time has come for us. So, like, (laughs) that is so well said, Naomi. Yeah. (laughs) If the role that you have in life is maybe one that you might not have expected to have, still own it. Do it with a lot of joy in your heart, knowing that you were given a purpose to serve. And I love that you demonstrated, Naomi, in your story that we celebrate everyone's role, whether it seemed to be more important, like a larger role, or a smaller part. Everyone's part is important in life, just like in that play. You know, because it's like comes down to the skills God gives us. And God has certainly given you some special gifts. And with you going through the schooling that you're going through, you're exercising that, mm. getting chances to practice and put it into work so that you can bless others with it. <laughs> nice work, Naomi. Thanks. I did find a Bible verse um, from mm. 1 Peter chapter 4. I'd like to read it. Can I read it for you guys? Yeah. So starting at verse 10, I'll read 
uh, 10 through, golly, I guess it's just 10 and 11. Verse 11 is just very, very long. So bear with me here, but it's very good. And it speaks to what we we're talking about today. It says, God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak as though God himself were speaking through you. You have the gift of helping others. Do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. Then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. All glory and power to him forever and ever. Amen. Again, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10 and 11 and if you have your Bible apps or your Bible, I would definitely highlight, especially verse 10, where he speaks, God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts and use them to serve one another. He made us unique. If we don't use the gifts that we we're given, it's a waste. So listeners, take a moment and reflect on your own life, your situation, your age, all the different roles you've had in your life up to this point. And where you hope to be. Are they roles that satisfy the skills you've been given? Do you have untapped potential? We have physical, spiritual, and mental health that we tend to neglect from time to time. But taking care of all three of those health aspects will strengthen all the talents that we have. It'll strengthen our ability to have patience for one another as we're functioning in our daily roles. God may have called you into a certain position or role in life right now that maybe you're not too fond of, but trust the process. He's not done with you. This role is important to others and it's important for your growth. So hold on tight. You'll keep on developing and more roles will come so you can serve others the way that he best sees fit. Let's celebrate. Remind someone in your life today or this week that their role in your life matters, that they were chosen on purpose for a purpose and God has called them by name. God's called you by name too. Let's keep that excitement alive, that what you do matters, who you are matters, and each one of us can benefit from your special gifts, your talents, whether those gifts are spiritual, physical, or mental, please keep pouring into this world and remind others to keep doing the same, that their work is appreciated. Thank you folks for joining us on Fruitful Ever After with Brian and Shannon. You can find us on Podbean, YouTube, Instagram, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook. Yeah, thank you all for those who've done it so far and continue to share it with the people in your life who will also benefit. Living the New Life was the previous series that we didn't conclude. That was in episode four. Part two is coming up in episode six. We thank our guest speaker today. Thanks for being with us, Naomi. We've appreciated you. So with that being said, have a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, and we out. God's blessings.